Doesn't it? <laughs> Doesn't it? You know, these people who you're, they're anti Harry Potter, and it's like, man, I, like I, I'm a little too old to, to to have read all the fucking Harry Potter books and to watch all the movies, but I did, and I loved every fucking second of it. I took a two or three different dates to those Harry. You Potter read all the books too. They, Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like like I consumed them. My wife's it's right not, there. She's read them all and watched it. Oh, all. it they eating. I, I, you can see what my brain just did. Reading a Harry Potter book is like consuming something that's delicious. And you and and the more you eat, the more you want to eat it. You want. You just don't get full of it. It's like it's it's just so good because it's it's easy reading. It's a child's book. So you're not you you just you really going through it fucking fast. And you care about the characters, but he but. J.K. Rowling does this thing a little bit like um, um, shithead that, that that writes uh, Game of Thrones, in that she describes all the food really well. And and Harry Potter food is really nice food because it's magic food for children, right? So of course, <laughs> think about that. You know, everything's succulent and sweet, and just the idea of butter beer, this this caramelly, buttery, al- alcoholic beverage that these children are consuming. It sounds so good. Um, all the meats that they're eating when they have their feasts, they have these big banquet feasts constantly in Harry Potter. And even just the, the, you know, the meals they're having, it's always puddings and pies and chicken this and it's, everything's always delicious. So her writing style is very good. It's very descriptive. She, you know what the room looks like. You know what everybody looks it, it, We've said all these things about, um, about the Game of Thrones author who's, whose name's escaping me right now. Gerr Martin. G.R.R. Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I, I love the Harry Potter series. I, I really consumed all of that. I, I, I would, I, I should probably read it again. I own all the books. Was it one of those series where, like, when you get towards the end, you start to get stressed out because you're like, oh, it's ending. Oh shit! I've only got I think I, more pages. I can make I, it last. I definitely cried in the movie. Um, I definitely cried when uh, I won't say which character, but in in the second to last movie, I, I um, a really cool, nice, cute character bites yeah. it to save someone's life. He gives his life to save another. Yeah. And it is sad. It's like a puppy getting ran over or something. Cecil except, Dickersby, or whatever the hell the that guy's name was. fucking Dobby is his name. And, and Dobby is just the most I selfless... I was thinking it was Dobby. Dobby is the most selfless character in the whole story. And every best. step of the way, every step of the way, he's sacrificing not just his time, but his life. He, he's like... He's like, Dobby's here for you, sir. Whatever you need. He's, you know, he's a house elf, and you know, Harry Potter's giving it, giving him his freedom with the clothes, and like, you know, freed him from slavery. And, and so he's just, he gives his life, and it, it's just such a moment where he's just like, got like a blade in him, and he's dying, but he's still worried about like his friends, and it really heartfelt moment. Oh, let me tell you what else is heartfelt. Felt. I watched, a, I watched the commercial for Hacksaw Ridge, and it made me. 